Hello, in this video we are going to talk about tables on HTML. Let's start. In order to create a table, we first need to add table tag. And then in order to create rows, we need to use tr tag. And then we can put our content here because when I save, there is nothing here. So in order to add our content, we can use th or td th is used for headings so we can put our titles so let's start with th name i want to have another cell in the row so let's create another th and it is going to be h so these two items are going to be our headings for now so let's save and see so we see it like this so let's create another row tr so now I am going to use TD because it is not going to be bold like this. John and H is going to be let's say 20 and save. So we see our content. So let's add another row. So let's say Denny and H is 22. Let's save. So we see it like this. So it doesn't seem like a good table here right now. So we can style it. So in order to style, I am going to use style tag inside head. So table, th and td. Let's give them a border. One pixel, solid and black. It seems like this. But now we have border for our table, th tags and td tags. And it doesn't seem so good now. So we can fix it. So we can use border collapse and make it collapse. Let's save. So this seems even better. So we can also give padding for th and t td tags. So let's give padding 10 pixels. So it looks better now. So we can make it even better. So let me add one more item here. th surname. And let's do it John Doe and Vargas. So now we have three items. So basically we can remove this here like this. We can give border button for TH and TD text. Now we have border button and we can also style our rows with tr tag so i want to give a background color for tr but not all these rows only even rows so we can do it by using nth child and put it even and background color is going to be light blue let's say so as you can see even tr items have the background so let's make it even more so i am going to copy them like this let's add and as you can see we have background color for even tr items so we can also change the width of the items let's give a style here and let's make it width and 100 percent let's save and it seems like this now and for example, I want to give more space for name. In order to give more space for name, I am going to style here at style width and 70%, let's say. So as you can see, it has even more space here. If you don't want to use styles inside the text, you can also do the same things here. Let's remove it from here and here. So firstly, we are going to add width here, 100%. And in order to make this bigger, we need to use nth child again, th, nth child. And this one, the first one, because we want to give more space for the first one, which is name. So let's style it, width, 70%. And now it does the same thing again. As you can see, the text is aligned to left. We can also fix it. We can use text align and center. 
save it and now the text is aligned so now let's talk about cold span as you can see each items have columns but we can get a name and surname in one column how we can do it firstly i am going to remove surname so there is no surname now then i am going to make it full name and here i need to add a new attribute which is call span and i need to make it two because the first one is for this one second one is for surname and third one is for age so third one is going to be for age but we can concat these two items which is full name so because of this i am going to give here two value save so now as you can see this is how it seems now and we can also remove this border button to see it better so as you can see on the title we only have one heading and it is full name and under as you can see there are two columns and for each there is only one column so this is how you can use call span but if we didn't use it and let's make it three columns again and here there was surname now it is how it seems so sometimes call spans are useful so you can keep it in mind call span to full name so basically call span concats columns and we can also concat rows as well so let me show it so let's add a new heading so i am going to make it th so i am not going to use it so this is not going to be any but let's make it phone number and let's put here some random numbers like this like this of course it is not going to be like that so i am going to remove this firstly so it seems like this now but now we need to create new row because we are going to concat rows not columns so let's add new number again we can use row span row span and let's give it four for example now it seems like this so you can use row span like this you can even add a new td in order to add h for example let's say like this and it is not going to break anything so it seems like this now we also have some different text for table for example t head t body and t footer so you can group table parts with these tags so for example for this part we can use t head and it should be here like this and for this part we can use t body until here and let's create a t footer as well t footer so for this i am going to create something different let's say th here th let's say sum of ages and here i am going to add some of these ages so let's say 200 now it seems like this so now we can also use call span again because we want this value under age so we can use call span to so as you can see it is now here like this and 200 is under age so for now this is enough for tables i hope you liked the video don't forget to like comment and share the video have a good day